is a tutorial, of course, inspired by the Super Bowl 2013. I'm like, wait, what year are we in? Because I still keep writing 2012 on my, uh, my papers. Not papers, because I'm not in school anymore, but I mean, like, you know what I mean. Um, so, again, a look inspired by the, uh, Super Bowl, and I wonder which team this is inspired by. Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, the 49ers, of course. So, yes, we are doing lots of red and gold, like, bam. Okay, so on my lid, I applied my base, which is my favorite base of all, uh, Painterly Paint Bot by MAC. And here I am showing you a highlight that I added on. And in this brulee, you can add whatever highlight for yourself, whatever your skin tone suits you best. And I'm just packing it on there. Okay, so just to give my brow bone a little pop, I am taking Max Eyeshadow in Gesso. It is just a white eyeshadow. And I'm applying it right at the arch of my brow bone. Okay, so here I'm showing you an eyeshadow in soft brown. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite blending uh, eyeshadows. I'm just taking an angled brush here and I'm putting it right above my crease. I'm also a little bit in the crease as well. Again, like I said, it is a perfect blending eyeshadow for creases up to your highlight. Alright, so here I have Red Brick Eyeshadow. And it is kind of like a reddish brown. And what I'm going to do is take a round crease brush. This one is from Crown Brush. It is the Italian Badger one. And I'm just going to add that into directly into my crease. I know, I'm sorry, my hand is in the way. And so as you can see here, I'm just directly adding it onto my crease. Also kind of putting it into my outer V, just to kind of give my eyes a little bit more defined, a defined look. And I know I'm going out of focus, it's because my damn hand is in the way. Alright, so here is an Inglot eyeshadow. It is a matte eyeshadow in 366. Unfortunately, Inglot doesn't have names on their eyeshadows. Taking a much more defined crease brush, a little bit more smaller than, or actually this is a fluffy brush, excuse me. I'm taking that color from Inglot, and I'm using it to blend the red brick into soft brown. Perfect blending color. Alright, here I am showing a shade stick in corn. It is by MAC. This, I believe, is discontinued. But you can definitely use any other gold base or you can even use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in uh, Milk to kind of give uh, what next color we're gonna, I'm going to show a bit of a pop. But I know Maybelline has the color tattoo in like a gold color. And here is this shadow that we are wanting to pop a little and it is the Pigment in Golden Lemon by MAC taking a flat shader brush here, this one's just a Costco one, taking the remnants of the pigment on the top of the cap and patting it onto my lid. Alright, and here is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk that I was talking about. I'm just adding it to the corner, giving my eyes a pop again, just blending it with my, eye, my finger there, getting just so again and putting it right on top to give it more of a pop again. Here is another Inglot eyeshadow in Shine 26. It is just another gold color um, because we use the pigment on top of our lid. I don't want to use it in my uh, waterline because it is a pigment and it might scratch my eyeball. Red brick again, adding it to my lower lash line. 
And we have a Kajal eyeliner in Topaz from Stila. Alright, and for the face, we are using Max Blunt. Oh, it is a blush. You can definitely use this for contouring, what it's usually used for. And as you can see, I'm doing the little kissy fishy face. If you are new to contouring, this is definitely a trick. And here I am making noise. So, I guess we are starting off with the lips. And I do prep my lips with a chapstick. And my favorite one was soft lips. I am using a MAC lip liner in Cherry. You want to define your lips, of course. This is a serious lip look. So, you want to sharpen it before you line your lips. Don't do it like me. I'm just doing it. I'm trying to show you the name of this lipstick. It is Red She Said and it is an amplified finish. Not sure if it's permanent. I don't believe so. But if you don't have that one, here is Ruby Rue. It is a matte finish lipstick. Just adding it there to my lips. Sorry, so close up. Okay, and with a clean finger, you are taking Golden Lemon, again, the MAC pigment that we used on our lid, and you're patting it right in the middle of your lips, right in the center. And patting it helps blending it, as you can see there. Like, you don't see that harsh pigment line. Adding more if you want to. Definitely want to add more if you want that look to pop just like your eyes. And I'm adding it there to the top. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm blending my lipstick with the golden lemon. And we are all done.